yeah? <laughs> okay. Hi students, here I am in Munsee territory. Um, I'm on the island that the Dutch originally named Noten Island, uh, and that was because of all, or Nut Island is because of all the groundnuts here. Um, today it's called Governor's Island, uh, and you might have read about Governor's Island recently in connection to Stony Brook, because Stony Brook is going to be uh, one of the big partners in this climate exchange that's going to be here on, on Governor's Island. So over there to my right, you see the Statue of Liberty right in New York Harbor. And over um, in this direction, to my left, um, there's uh, the tip of Manhattan, downtown Manhattan. In 1609, the Haldemain, Henry Hudson ship, sailed into, in September 1609, um, sailed into New York Harbor. You're watching this in September, but I'm actually recording it in August. I'm here on a trip with my family to, uh, to Governor's Island. So, in 1609, the Havamein um, had their first encounter with the native inhabitants of this area, who were Munsees. Uh, they spoke the Munsee dialect of uh, the Lenape language. The Lenape was the, the broader name for the group. So if you read about New York history today, they'll often identify the inhabitants of New York City as Lenape. Um, but this area, New Jersey, um, the harbor area, it was really more um, Munsees. So in this unit, we're going to be reading the, uh, the first account of this encounter by a European. This was um, uh, Robert Jewett, Hudson's first mate, wrote a journal in which he uh, described uh, their, uh, their journey up the Hudson River and their um, you know, trading and some skirmishes um, with, the, with the Munsees and with other natives like the Mahicans further up the river. Uh, but we're also going to be reading uh, about the Lenape or Munsee perspective on, on what happened, at least we think it's what happened in, in 1609. That's to say that this oral tradition seems to refer to the same events that Robert Jewett um, you know, describes in, in his account. Uh, on the tip of Manhattan um, in 1625 was where the Dutch uh, built Fort Amsterdam in 1625. I just said that twice. Uh, so that was a, you know, a classic Dutch colonial fort. Uh, but there's some references in the Dutch, uh, in the Dutch uh, written records to an earlier fort that would have been built on Governor's Island or, or Noten Island, um, which would have been quite a bit smaller. Uh, I have a theory that the Bull's Hide account, which you're going to be reading, the oral tradition about the first uh, Dutch uh, land, the first land transaction, the first Dutch acquisition of land in the building of the fort, might refer to that earlier, smaller fort, um, more provisional structure that was built on, on Governor's Island. So then after we, uh, just to, to back up for a second, in thinking about those, um, Robert Jouette's account, this written record and the oral tradition um, that the Lenape has handed down over generations, um, you know, and still into the 21st century, uh, remembering uh, their version of what happened with the Dutch. Um, we're also going to be thinking about the differences between written history, so-called the documentary record, and oral tradition, the different ways they function in community, um, the different ways that they preserve memories of, um, of, of past events. Uh, so after reading um, those two conflicting, maybe corroborating accounts, uh, we're going to be reading Washington Irving's famous story that's set further up the Hudson River, uh, the story of Rip Van Winkle, and we're going to then turn to another Native American story that's kind of like a counterpart or in some ways a response to Washington Irving's story. So that's our unit, and you'll be hearing many, many more details about the individual text for each week. All right, um, so speaking to you from August uh, 2023, I hope you all have a great rest of the summer, or have had one, um, and I'm looking forward to discussing this in September.